We continue to watch breaking news out of the Cape where NASA has decided to scrub tomorrow's launch of Boeing Starliner and push it to next week. News 6's James Barbero is out at the Space Coast tonight. And James, we're now hearing from NASA about its decision. NASA tells us, Ginger, we have a new launch time for Starliner. It's going to be 1.20 in the afternoon on Tuesday, so not 2.53 tomorrow afternoon. It's another bad break for Starliner, but fortunately, the most important thing here, according to NASA, no astronauts on the space station were hurt. And also in that new press conference, they tell us none of the astronauts were even in any imminent danger. Now, it certainly sounds like a scary situation when you talk about a Russian science lab arriving at the station, but when the Russians opened, that lab and they went into the state they went into the lab and they opened the hatch they're saying that the thrusters started firing unexpectedly on the right of your and screen and NASA says that shifted the positioning of the space station by 45 degrees now fortunately they say they were able to fix that problem rather quickly they were able to relay with the astronauts what had happened they were able to understand that nobody was in imminent danger they fixed it but they're now delaying the launch of Starliner, which was supposed to go to the space station tomorrow, because they want to further learn more about what happened today. And of course, this morning, shortly before what was happening on the station, we were at the Space Force station watching the Starliner and the Atlas V rocket, a 24-hour delay for their rollout through the launch pad, but it went just fine. And prior to what we learned happened on the station, everyone here on the ground at Kennedy Space Center from NASA's administrator Bill Nelson to the astronauts themselves. They were saying they were very excited, looking forward to the second, the repeat, the unpiloted test of Starliner to get to the space station. Remember in 2019, it failed to make it there. This is the do-over. And in the meantime, NASA's other commercial crew partner, SpaceX, has made three astronaut missions to the space station with a fourth plan. So we told you about the teleconference that just came in. Here's Steve Stitch. He's NASA's commercial crew program manager with more on why they decided to scrub. The situation today, uh, we decided that it would not be smart to go launch the OFT2 mission tomorrow. Uh, we wanted to give the ISS program time to assess what had happened today, determine the cause, and make sure that they were really ready to support the, the Starliner launch and the OFT2 mission. Stitch also took questions from reporters. What if, hypothetically, the astronauts were in danger? Usually the undocking of a capsule to take astronauts from the station back to Earth, it's a multiple hour long process. He said, fortunately, in this case, it would have been the SpaceX Dragon, which was on board. He says the capsule can act as a lifeboat, essentially, if needed. And astronauts could have got on the capsule, put on their spacesuits within minutes had they needed to evacuate the station. Fortunately, they did not. But again, if you're just joining us, the big breaking news on the Starliner launch tomorrow is that it is not happening tomorrow. 1.20 Tuesday afternoon is the next attempt, according to NASA. Live at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.